Hey guys, taking another look at the paracord bracelet tutorial. I've made a few of these and they've gone over really well and I'm excited to hear that. I've been trying to go back through the comments of them to see what you guys are still wanting, if there are new paracord videos that you would like to see. Um, and, and one of them that multiple people have brought up is seeing the tutorial in red. So that's what we're doing today. So the things that you'll need, obviously you have your paracord. A clip, this is a 5 8 inch clip from creativedesignworks.com. I'll put the link down in the description. You also need a lighter and scissors. So to start, we're gonna measure out the length of cord we need. Other tutorials generally say you need about a foot for every inch of the weave that you create, and I said that myself in past tutorials. From what I've come to learn is that that's a bit generous, and that's fine. You'd rather have too much cord than, than too little. So my wrist is about seven inches in circumference, so I'm gonna measure out about nine feet of cord just to be safe. I recommend burning, just melting the ends of the cord just a little bit every time you cut it, just to keep it from getting frayed, just to keep it all nice and tidy. So from here, we now have the length of cord that we need. For me, personally, it's about nine feet of cord. And then you need your clip. We're gonna find the two ends of the cord. And it doesn't matter which side of the clip we start with, but I generally start with this end. Take the two ends of cord and feed it through the bottom and up through the top of the clip, like so. And we're gonna pull that through until we reach the end. Like so. We're gonna reach through the bottom of this loop that we've now created and we're gonna grab the two tag ends and pull them through. So this is what it should look like. And we're just gonna pull down on that. So we have a nice clean start to our bracelet. So from here, we're gonna move down to the other end with our two tag ends. We're gonna grab the other half to the clip and we're gonna feed it through the top, both tag ends through the top. Like so. We're gonna pull it down. To about here. At which point we can go ahead and do a quick test just to check if we have the right measurement. It should be pretty snug. Just leave a little bit of room for the actual weave. So we're ready to go. We have the measurement. Just get organized by separating the bracelet into three pieces. We have the middle that we just focused on. We have a right tag end and we have a left tag end. To start, we're gonna take the left tag, cross it over the top of the middle part of the bracelet. We're then gonna take the right tag, cross it over the left around the back and through that loop. So this is roughly what it should look like. And then we're just gonna go ahead and tighten it down.
And now since we started with the left, we're gonna go with the right this time. We're gonna cross the right over the top. The left tag comes down and back around and through that loop and then pull tightly. So as you'll notice and as you'll pick up on, each time we start a new weave, we're gonna alternate which side we start on, which tag end we start with. So the first time we started with the left, we just ended the right, and we're gonna start with the left this time. We're gonna cross it over the top, take the right side, over, back around, and through that loop. Making sure that each time we finish a knot, that we're pulling tightly so that we have a clean bracelet at the end. Starting with the right side, over the top, left comes down over the top, back around and through that loop. Left over the top, right comes down over the top, back around and through that loop. Also, as you may pick up on, if you happen to get lost with your weave, you'll notice that each little bump on the side. If you happen to get lost with your weave, look for the last bump on each side of the bracelet. As you guys can see, the last time we crossed down and over one of the tag ends was on the right side. We see it's on the left right, left, and then right. Whichever end that is on, we want to cross over on that same end. So we see a bump on the right, we take the right tag end, cross it over the top, left comes down and around, back through that loop. Same thing now, we have the left side, Left comes over, right comes down and around, back through that loop, pull that up and through, and pull tightly. We're going to continue doing the same pattern, making sure that we're alternating on each side each time that we make a new knot until we get to the bottom of the bracelet. last knot, pull that tight, now you have your bracelet. We're left with the two tag ends, we're going to snip those off, keeping it close to the bracelet so we keep it clean. And then we're just going to singe the ends just a little bit to Keep the bracelet clean and to keep it from unraveling. And there you have it. There's the finished bracelet. I hope this tutorial helped, specifically for those uh, several people who requested that I do a tutorial in red. If you guys haven't already, head over to my channel and check out my vlogs. I'm putting up new videos almost every day and I'd love for you guys to see them. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give that like button a little bit of love. I appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.